how to bypass forgotten microsoft pin and password in a windows 10 or windows 11 pc or laptop it's work on the both operating system it is a very easy and simple video before go to the, our video make sure subscribe to our channel and also hit bell icon so let's go to our video here is the my account and i forgot my pin and we are going to reset it first go to the here go to the here bottom and go to the power go to the power and make sure hold the shift key button hold the shift key button on your keyboard don't release it hold the shift key and click on the restart hold the shift key and click on the restart wait for a few seconds and hold the shift key and restart anyway restart anyway and release your shift key and it goes to restart our pc is now restart here we find choose an options here we find troubleshoot click on the troubleshoot in a troubleshoot here we find advanced options click on the advanced options in advanced options here we find command prompt click on the command prompt and command prompt is open but in a some cases at this point pc or laptop ask for the password if your pc or laptop ask for the password then follow this step and if you not ask for the password then skip this step go to our next step our this step is for the password if is asked for the password then follow this step first close it and we are going to now uh, restart our machine and after that attach our usb pen drive our windows 10 or windows 11 usb bootable pen drive if you not create bootable pen drive then i give the video how to create a bootable pen drive in windows 10 or windows 11 both are same you can choose windows 10 bootable pen drive or windows 11 bootable pen drive or cd or dvd both are same use that or installation cd or dvd or the usb pen drive usb bootable pen drive or installation pen drive we can create that pen drive by the simpler way and i give the video of for this bootable pen drive also so close it first close it and click on the continue and restart the our machine as soon as our machine is restart go to the our boot menu and select the our cd or dvd bootable pen drive from that list bootable order and go to the installation of the our windows 10 or windows 11 and after that we go to the our command prompt click on the continue after machine is restart press the your bios key depending on your motherboard or your pc or laptop your bios key must be different in this case i am showing you access motherboard i continuously press delete key or f2 key on my keyboard and my bios interface is open in your case your bios key must be different press your bios key depending on your pc or laptop bios key is different sometimes it's f1 f2 f3 search on the net for your bios key continuously press that bios key on your keyboard after that here we find put menu we are we want to change a put order so click on the put menu and scroll down and select scroll down and select your usb drive or your usb usb dvd or usb pen drive in my case this is the my pen drive we can select first or second i select the first and it's directly as soon as we hit the enter key it's directly go to the windows 10 or windows 11 installation wait for a few seconds hit the enter key and start the your installation here is the our windows setup we are going to the next we are not installing windows 10 or windows 11 we go to the our command prompt click on the next here we find repair our computer click on repair our computer and same options are appear on our here our screen choose an option click on the continue or troubleshoot go to the troubleshoot here we find command prompt click on the command prompt and this time it's not asked for the password after that here type regi edit and hit enter key and the registry editor is open after that here we find many things here go to the hk local machine third number hk local machine click at here and after that go to the here file go to the file and go to the load hive load hue click at here and here we find many options go to the this pc from here or go to the here and go to the this pc at this point both are same i click on here this pc click on the this pc on this pc we find many drives or single drive if you're using multiple drives then it show multiple drives from that multiple drives find where the your installation of the windows folder where is the windows folder on that drive in some cases it is in save 
C drive in 99% or 90% it is in C in some cases it is D, E, F, G, H, I in any drive sometimes in, in the installation drive letters are changed so search for the windows folder I say go to there I have only one folder I go to the C drive in C drive here we find windows go to the windows in a windows find system 32 find system 32 double click on the system 32 folder in a system 32 we find config config folder click, double click on the config in a config scroll down and here we find system select the system and click on the open click on the open and it's asked for the key name add any key name that you want I add reset you can give any key name that you want not a mandatory give any key name that you want I click on type reset and click on ok and after that go to the here here we find HK local machine expand HK local machine here we find our, our newly created folder name reset or any folder name that you created here click at here here we find many options go to the setup here find setup click on the setup and in a setup we find two file names first is the CMD line double click on CMD line or right click on it and click on the modify and here type CMD here type CMD dot exe and click on the ok next is the our setup type go to the setup type right click on the setup type click on the modify and this time add a two number value data is equal to two number and click on ok close it and here in a command line exit it exit from here type exit and hit enter key and here we find many options click on the continue exit and continue to windows 11 continue or start the our windows 11 operating system or windows 10 operating system whatever click at here after restart command line or cmd is open here type some command we first find the our users type net user at this point and hit enter key it show all user on our pc or laptop and here is the our users and these users are using our pin login or the password both are same and we are going to bypass them that is very easy we create a new user and login with that user that is very simple click on type net user we make the new local account user or the local account type net user then type any username that you want to create in this case I type this username my username after the space and type any password that you like I type password and after that forward slash and add type this and net user your username or the local account username that you want to create any username or any local you could as a account name password then space forward slash add and hit enter key it's successful that means our user is created now next step is give the administrator permissions we want the administrator permission that's why we need that permission to use all files on our PC or laptop that's why we give the username administrator permission type net space local group space type administrator type administrators space then you were local username that you create space then forward slash add type this and hit enter key and command is completed successfully we add command prompt we add the administrator uh, permissions to the upward local user now we search net user hit enter key and we find our new username at this point and after that click on exit and after exit type exit and after exit this machine is not goes to the restart then power off your machine and after 5 or 10 seconds restart your machine or directly restart your machine and go to the upper login login screen click on exit click on the exit and it's appear login screen hit enter key and here we find it's asked for the pin but at the bottom we find new local account is created and click on that local account this is the my local account I created and click on that local account 
and it's asked for the password and this time I have a password so I type my password and hit enter key wait for a few seconds it's new local account so give the permission that you want give the settings that you want and click on accept give the your all settings and windows 10 or windows 11 is started after that here we find the windows 11 or windows 10 lock in or the bypass the upper pin or the password with our pin or password and if you want to access your old files or old data that is also simple go to the here file explorer click on the file explorer in a file explorer here we find this pc go to the this pc in this pc here we find c drive double click on c drive in a c drive here we find user double click on user in user here we find the all the our users in my previous user is this abhi click on this abhi double click on it and i have permission so i click on the administrator permission click on the continue wait for a few seconds and here we find our files in this case document download or desktop desktop is also available but in my case i add my desktop to the my microsoft accounts so it is not showing in your case desktop is also showing in this list click on that and the use that files on your pc or laptop so guys this is the simplest way to bypass forgotten microsoft pin or password in a windows 10 or windows 11 pc or laptop so guys thank you for watching this video don't forget to like share comment on this video and don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you guys